CSS. Good. And then body. I just want to change the font to Arial. Awesome. Now let's get styling our list. So we want to go URL and give it a list style of none. Text align to center. Float to the left of our screen. And give it a margin on the left of 10 pixels. Awesome. Next we want to style each and every one of these. So to save me time I'm just going to copy in that um, line there. So you just want to do div click, div click 2, div click 3, blah, 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 blah. and we want to change the width to 100 pixels and the height to 50 pixels. Change the cursor to the pointer so it gets that the hand cursor when you look like you're going to click a link but we don't want to make a link and we want it to look like a link basically so we're just going to change it to pointer. Make the background colour a light grey and give the border a bit of a darker grey make it thin and solid. Awesome. Text align again to center and give it a margin on the top of 10 pixels and margin on the bottom of 10 pixels as well. Done. Let's have a look at that so far. Uh, coffee about uh, Dreamweaver is you get a live view of all your work. So this is what we've done so far. That's what our button things look like. Next we're going to style the um, mouse hover uh, for each of the boxes, so I'll just copy that in again. And um, We just want to change one thing which is the background, to change the colour to um, E8, E8, E8 and that's it. So let's have another look and you can see the background gets a little bit lighter when they hover over. Cool. Now let's style to our um, yes and no buttons, which are these two. We don't want those to be seen until they click um, reset. So I'm going to copy and paste in, click 5 and click 6, and go display none. Brilliant. That's how it looks over. Okay, we're looking good. We're getting there. We're getting there. Next, we want to style the objects. So we want this one and these two boxes. So I want to style those. So we're going to go hash obj and give it a width of 300 pixels and give it a height of 300 pixels. Remember that we said we would do that here, so width by height. In fact, that isn't showing up in bold as I would like it, which is kind of weird. Strong. Strong. Ha! Okay then. Is that, or is that just a screen? That's interesting. Oh, that's why. I can't spell. Stong. Or read either, apparently. Strong. Yay! Okay. Cool. Anyway, back here. Next, we want to change the background to um, a sort of F6, so a sort of light orange there. And then give the give it a border of another light orange, which is 930, well, dark orange. And we'll make that thin and solid. Okay. And then we want to change the Z index to 2. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Z index is basically Z space. So you've got X and Y, which is up and across, up and down and across. And then you've got Z index, which is forwards and backwards, or backs and forwards. And this means anything 
below the Z, in Z index of 2 will be below this object. Anything with a Z index higher than 2 will be above the object. Simple. So that means our second uh, object box, OBJ2, will have a Z index of nothing or 1 or, yeah, nothing or 1, basically. Which will mean it's below, below, below our object box. Okay, next we want to change the positioning of this box. I want to change the position to absolute, so it can go anywhere on our um, stage. And then we want to move it left 50%. So that's 50% from the left hand side. Now they can't see it yet, it will come up in a minute. Uh, that means from this side of the stage here, it will be 50% over. Now we do have a slight problem about that, because um, what happens is, this reads it from the top left hand corner so basically this corner not the middle so we need to fix that and get it to the middle so it's absolutely centered in our page by going margin left minus 150 pixels which is half our width brilliant let's do the same for the top 50 percent and margin top minus 150 pixels. Awesome. As you can see, although it's not going to show it yet because I haven't closed the tags, um, that our box will now be floating on the center of our stage. Okay. Next we want to change the color of the font in that box to the same color as our border, just because it looks nice. And then overflow we want to be hidden. This is because when the box changes size, as it squeezes down, the text doesn't change size. So um, that will then mean that we have to hide anything, because if the, check, cause the text doesn't change size when the box shrinks down, the text will just overflow and be still be visible, which we don't want, so we want it to be hidden, obviously. And then text align center. Brilliant. So as you can see, there we go. Our box is floated in the middle of our stage with nice looking typography and thin outline and looks good. Next we want to style this box which is object 2. So this is much simpler. OBJ and we can copy and paste. So we want to copy and paste width and height Oops. and we want to copy we can leave Z index, we don't need to put that in there we can copy all this and text the line center now without a Z index it will just assume it's naught so it will float behind our um, box and of course object 2 sorry and it's laying behind. Now obviously you can't see it so if I uh, change the display to none of course this object won't show up so there it is floated in the middle. Okay so we are done in CSS now we get to the main um, da -da 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 file, main work which is of course the jQuery now what I think the best idea here is for me to copy and paste all our work, all the work I've done already in and then talk you through it. So we go create a new JavaScript file and we can call we shall call it um script.js. So remember that's what we called here script.js. Okay, now if I just copy and paste everything in and now let's talk you through it. Okay, so we start off by when the document, which is our page, is loaded and is ready, we want to run this function and everything between this lot and these closing brackets is that function and will run when the state page starts. Okay, so now we want to start off by saying when div click, which is, let's get this back in live view, this one is clicked we want um, our object to fade slowly to a value of random which so we're going to write var 
r for our variable value and it will be math 